Hey guys, this is Scott, and I found something on Earth's moon in a NASA map, and this looks like, it looks like the Titanic, okay? It looks like it's made by intelligent beings. This doesn't just look like a pile of rocks. This looks like a ship that has landed and just kind of broken its back a little bit as it's landed. This looks amazing, guys. I colorized it right here so you can see it a little bit better. Here it is in a bluer color, so some of it stands out a little bit more. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, I put it in a blue tinting because I can get about 7% more shading covering these white areas, which gives us a little bit more detail. But look, can you see these? this pipe coming out? Can you see these like uh, towers coming up over here, the edges? I mean, these are just amazing structures on Earth's moon. Uh, here is the original in black and white. Uh, it's a little bit darker, but you can see it quite well. And the detail is all original. Uh, it's untouched, really, so that one is kind of cool. Uh, here it is in colored. Here it is in original. Now, I found a few other objects, and here is one of them. It's hard to see this one right here, uh, but you can see it's some kind of structure and it's too difficult to see. Uh, here's another one. It's a longer structure. It's a longer structure, uh, but there's a couple of these out there. That's the weird thing about it. There's a couple of them. Okay, let me show you the map I got it from. This is the original map. It's from the LROC Quick Map, and it's from the ASU, Arizona State University education area. And check this out, guys. Check this out. This is the structure right here, and it's not the biggest one here. There's actually some structures over here in this crater area, right over here. It's even bigger. And there's a few others around that I just thought, hey, I gotta show you guys this. This is incredible. And way down here, way down here, at the, it says 50 meters down here. It tells you how big it is. So this object we're looking at is about 50 meters. However, uh, NASA and a lot of others deliberately undervalue, undersize objects in space. If there's an asteroid out there or something, they always cut it in half. So I'm guessing it's closer to 100 meters. Okay, that would be a little bit more accurate. And the object is right here. Here we are looking at a screenshot right now. And uh, I'm going to add some light to it. Now look at the textures. Look at the shadows around it. That is just amazing, guys. This might not be a ship. It might be a whole city. I mean, that is just crazy cool. That is really, really strange. Look at that. The detail really changes when you add light to it. Wow. Okay, what do you think of this, guys? What do you think about this? Do you think this is an alien ship? Do you think it's my imagination? Or uh, do you think there might be a lot more about the moon that we don't know that we need to know? Hey, Scott C. Waring, UFO Science Daily. Like and subscribe.